Okay, why do we have adjustable anticipators? Okay, the reason we're going to have adjustable anticipators is very simple. The power draw when the thermostat is closed. Now this one here, let's see, we get it. When this power, when this closes, power passes through that little heater and starts warming it up. But how much power passes through it? Well, that's controlled by whatever you have in the control circuit. If your control circuit draws, uh, say, two tenths of an amp, then I would go to the thermostat and I would set the dial so that it says two tenths. If instead it was much higher than that, I would set it to whatever was higher. So if I wanted to set it to 0.6, I would turn it until the dial pointed towards 6. That's actually 6 tenths. Uh, that gives me the same amount of heat as I would get with a longer wire at say 0.2. So I'm limiting the length of the wire to match the amp draw of the circuit so I can get the same amount of heat out of the uh, different links of the anticipator wire. Okay, this is a very simple and easy one to see. Now let's take a look at one that's a little harder to see but actually does the same job, it's just in a different place. Okay, just like the other one, using a wire, a little resistance wire, see that little coil of wire right there? That is the anticipator, and you see that lever moves as I move this bottom lever, and it exposes different parts of that little heater to the bimetal, which is right there. Okay, there's another one on this one. I'm going to show you it. It looks pretty much the same. Now here you can see another lever right here. And if you look close, there's a little heater right back here. And of course as you move this back and forth, it changes the position of the um, bar on it. Okay, right in there. And there's your little deal to move it. Uh, those are both adjustable anticipators uh, on this and the other one was adjustable also. Okay, next we're going to go into how to check amp draw of the control circuit and uh, just the anticipator accordingly in the next video.